three miles and six furlongs this time then. So, getting up into the real long distance horses now. And we've got Glen Fly Fredlot at the top of Runnick's Cherry. That one's definitely been around for a season or so. Velvet Sky Craig Beckwith, Birch Acre, and Tuxford. Darren Thompson, Bynat Griego for Derek Hinton, the Golden Oldie in the lineup for Joshua Sutherland, Mr. Ben Vereen, and Stone Cold Steve Austin for Matt Cooper, Agent of the Free, Padre Hogan, Pound for Pound, Stu Gray, Place the Duchess, Alex Cherry, Good Times and Rose True for David Hurley, will be hoping a bit more luck than he had in the first of the chases, Graylin Crack and Love Air Panariva for David Robertson, Finding Alice and Penelope Pitstop for Martin Lingham and Betty Davis eyes for Padraig Hogan. A field of 19 this time, away they go. And three and three quarter miles around Toaster. Well, we have pretty much like four miles around anywhere else, I would have thought. And Penelope Pitstop leads into the first ditch. And they all got over with the exception of Finding Alice. Now, that is a very bizarre thing because Finding Alice has been in the league for the last two or maybe even three seasons has won some pretty big races and was supposedly a yardstick for me to see how everybody else has improved but I'm not going to find out now am I because found to find Alice has been found out at the first and she's back in the stable so stable back to that one Penelope Pitstop has gone on and leads over the second mistake this time was by Birch Acre Interesting point about this Penelope Pit Stop. This Penelope Pit Stop was in the league two seasons ago. Well, it didn't qualify last year. Um, this year has won some of the early trials to get back in, so that's interesting. Maybe it means I'm going backwards, but anyway, Penelope Pit Stop's in the league. Enough about moving past the winning post with two complete circuits to go. Um, Penelope Pit Stop leads by a good six lengths to the lineup. And the Golden Oldie for Joshua Sutherland. And Birch Acre for Darren Thompson in the white sleeves. And Alex Cherry Pair next. Plays the Duchess and Glen Fry Fredlock. He normally does well in these long distance races. Stone Cold Steve Austin is after that one. And then Betty Davis eyes on the inside. With Bynack Griego for Derek Hinton. A couple of lengths gap then to Mr. Ben Vereen and Good Times. As they take the fifth, which is another ditch. Safely over that one. We're already getting quite well strung out. They take the sixth. Uh, one or two down on my nose there, one of you if he jumps. Penelope pit stop is bowling along in the lead from the Joshua Sutherland pair, the lineup and the golden oldie. Sutherland just touched off in the last race by the stable behind him, Bert Jaker, in the purple jacket with the white sleeves, that's Darren Thompson, and you can see the Scottish flag colours of Alex Cherry on the far side, are to the fore as well, and also Betty Davis signs for Padraig Hogan, in the black and yellow, Barnett Griego in the mini clouds, Trevor Hemmings yellow and green, is also getting closer with Derek Hinton as they skip over the eighth, which they're all safely over. Stone Cold Steve Austin in something which is very similar to the Thompson flat, because it's not Darren Thompson. Yeah. Look that one they go. Oh, I think they're actually the name. Something stood now, don't they? Anyway, I'm waffling already, and we haven't even started the season yet. We haven't even got a start date for the season yet. And we get over number 10. All safely over that one. There'll be some more trials coming up in the coming weeks and months, as I'm informed. And there might be somebody telling me whether the season's about to start, you never know. <laughs> anyway, it's Penelope pit stop in the lead. I'm guessing it won't be for a few months. And they get over the next one, so plenty of time to hone your stable still. And Penelope pit stop in the lead from Birch Acre in second, the line up third, Golden Oldie fourth. In place the Duchess and Bynac Griego. Glen Fry Fredlot is next, and then Lavere Palariva. As the field starts to bunch up a little bit now, as Penelope pits up, just shows, slows the pace down a little bit. Still got a mile and three quarters to go. 
plenty of jumping to do. Penelope pitched off his over the 12 and gave that one a bit of a wallop in and has subsequently surrendered the lead to Birch Acre. And the golden holding in the lineup, Velvet Sky, is after that one. Good times and Rose Tree are getting closer as they take the fence there. That'll be the second last next time round. And we'll safely over it. In fact, it'll be the last next time round, that one. Fence going away from the stand. And we'll successfully negotiate that with a birch acre in the lead. Just one more circuit to go in there. Racing downhill again to the lineup in second. Bloody pit stop is still there in third. Then the golden old is fourth. Good times and Betty Davis eyes are next. Then Velvet Sky Lava there. Pala Riva is next. Rose Tree Tuxford getting the first mention along with Graylin Crack and then. Stone Cold Steve Austin after that one. Agent of the Free is next as they take that ditch. With pound for pound. Just struggling at the back. Racing downhill. Birch Acre in the lineup. Oh, put an up your pit stop. And then the Golden Oldie. Is Levere Panariva as they get over number 16. Jumping okay, still lost just the one. Finding ice at the very first fence. And the lineup is the leader from Penelope Pit Stop in second. Birch Acres just dropped back into third, giving a bit of a breather that one, maybe. Then the Golden Oldie Lever Panariva is next. Betty Davis eyes, then the two purple jacketed horses, Good Times and Rose Tree. Velvet Sky Wide on the track. Agent of the Free is starting to get closer as well as they skip over the 17th. And it's the lineup who's got the lead. From Birch Acre and Penelope Pitstop, who's still there in that leading group. Lever Pallery with a golden oldie. And get over the 18th, and they really are bunched up behind this leader now. Glen Five Fredlock, Mr. Ben Vereen are dropping away as well as pound for pound. Although, to be fair to him, Glen Five Fredlock is trying to run on. But it's the lineup who skips over the 19th in the lead then from finding Alison Birch Acre. Then the golden oldie Stone Cold Steve Austin is creeping through suddenly from nowhere to move into second. But it's the lineup in front from Stone Cold Steve Austin over the 20th they go. They've got just three to take then now. It's wide open this one as Stone Cold Steve Austin sweeps into the lead. Tuxford has come through from nowhere to challenge him. Then comes the lineup. Penelope Pitstop looking a bit one pace now. Then Laver Pinariva. Good times is after. That one, agent of the free rose tree over the final ditch, the third from home, and it's Tuxford who's now gone on. Tuxford leading by three suddenly from Stone Cold Steve Austin, Lever, Panariva, and the lineup are trying to run on. So too's Rose Tree, agent of the free, trying to get into it, but they've got to get to this Tuxford. He's got two and a half furlongs to go. He's got two fences to take, and it's Tuxford in the lead by a good five to six lengths. Stone Cold Steve Austin is second, Rose Tree is third, and then agent of the free is fourth. A race to the second last. He stood off it. He got over it okay, jumped it as well as anything else. Rose Tree is really running on well in second. Mr. Ben Vereen was a fall around a shot, but it's Tuxford coming to the final fence. Tuxford looks like he's only got to jump it for a quick double for David D Darren Thompson. He gets over it in the lead, and he's clear. Tuxford is racing up the hill towards the line, and Tuxford's going to take this one, and can Darren Thompson do a Vinnie Gerard and take all the jump races? It's Tuxford that takes it. One Rose Tree, second agent of the three, third, and then Stone Cold Steve Austin, big run for that one, agent of the three after that, and then for Fredlock ran on from the back. And... Darren Thompson looks to have upped his game on the jumps this season. No Leon, no, don't forget. So, it's one of the top top trainers not playing at the moment. But a pretty impressive win there for Tuxford. Now, Tuxford for Darren Thompson, the winner. Rose Tree for David Hooley, second. Agent of the Free for Padre Gogan was third. Stone Cold Steve Austin for Matt Cooper, fourth. Velvet Sky for Craig Beckwith was fifth. <laughs>